we will learn about what is .NET Framework and we will write a first program in C Sharp. .NET Framework is an essential structure of a project. So what do you mean by an essential structure? I will give you one clear example so you can understand easily. Whenever you want to create a building or you want to construct a building, you must require some material that is bricks, sand, cement. So that is an essential structure. Okay. So that is now a dotnet framework. Another, it consists of two major components. That is common language runtime CLR, and second is framework class library. The common language runtime CLR is the virtual engine that handles running application. Running application may be mobile application, web application, or Windows application. CLR are made up of two things that is CLS and CTS. So CLS can understand all language. For example, C sharp has semicolon in every statement at the ending. But in the VB.NET it does not have. That's the reason the common language specification are used. Another is CTS, common type system. For example, vb.net has an integer and c sharp has only int so there is a, a different syntax for the uh, data types so that's why a cts use because cts can understand all data types so third is that it convert the cil code into the machine code by the using of clr by the using of CLR, the CIL code into the machine code. Third is it act as an interface between .NET apps and operating system. And fourth is it provides service like thread management, garbage collection, type safety, and exceptional handling. And also has more features. The framework class library is the collection of classes, namespaces, interface that are used for .NET application. .NET framework class library classes are object oriented, easy to use in programming development. The framework class library has uh, some predefined data types and also some important classes for uh, writing files, connecting to the databases and also drawing and also has some more important APIs in dotnet framework now we are going to the conclusion dotnet framework work for the to develop mobile application web application windows application this is the architecture of dotnet framework c sharp code f sharp code visual basic code as we know dotnet support 30 plus more language okay so let's we for assuming we go to the C sharp code now. So the C sharp code requires C sharp compiler. So this C sharp compiler converts the code into the as machine can understand. So it code convert the code into the CIL and after that the CIL code is nothing but the binary instruction set. So by the using of common language runtime, we can convert this code into the machine code. So now you can understand what is the use of CLR. Without this CLR, we cannot get the .exe file or machine code. Now we are going to write this first program in C sharp and also we will understand what is Visual Studio and how can we create a different kinds of application with the help of Visual Studio? So let's start. Here it is now. We have to create a new project. So you can see now 
here is a template is a template for windows application here is a template for a web application here is a template for android application here is a template for ios application also so you can now understand that the one visual studio can develop or create a multi type of application so we will now write first program in console it just for understanding now we have to take a time to understand this visual windows wave and also ios that's so now how can we go for the first program you can see now console application console application just for understanding and just for to make your knowledge strong in dot net applications any kind of dot net application so you can say that uh, it's a uh, hello world or we can give a name first program So you can see now this is just for understanding those who are beginner in .NET framework. Uh, sorry, you can use syntax for console dot. We will just print a hello world. Just like a printf in C language here is the syntax it is console dot right line console is the class and right line is the method and now press control f5 or simply you can click start this is the output for the first program in C sharp I have tried as simple as for beginner can easily understand the concept of .NET and please don't forget to like this video if you really like guys it supports thank thank you so much